Good evening. Thanks for having us in. Just a day after public school teachers approve furloughs and pay cuts, university faculty members complain their administrators are not doing enough to defend the UH against budget cuts. At a budget briefing, faculty members said the UH administration is top heavy and overpaid, and they're angry that lower paid faculty are taking higher percentage pay cuts than their higher paid superiors. KITV's Kiyoki Kerr is here with tonight's top story. Kiyoki? Well, Pam and Gary, when public school teachers approved salary cuts last night. They were also given a guarantee against teacher layoffs for the next two years. But tenured UH professors are facing pay cuts and could still be laid off. At, at I at administration... Faculty members packed the budget briefing. Many of them are upset because while UH administrators who are paid $100,000 and higher have taken 6 to 10 percent pay cuts, professors are facing pay cuts of about 14 percent. You were asked to have your pay cut by double the rate of your bosses. And you were told, and by the way, after you accept that, we're probably going to fire you anyway. Would you sign that contract? We do not have a magic wand. Um, we do not have a situation in which the governor will magically start moving in the direction that the faculty would necessarily would like. The two vice chancellors who answered questions at the meeting are among the highest paid executives at UH Manoa. The man in charge of academic affairs takes home $265,000 a year, and the woman who heads administration and finance is paid $207,000. Students and faculty say there are too many administrators throughout the UH system, nearly 200 with six-figure salaries, and they're overpaid. Why are the administrators paid so much more than the faculty? But if that top of the administration is not going to earn the $300,000 a year by advocating more for Manoa or at the other level advocating more for the university system, then we need to think about how much we're paying them. UH administrators say it's up to faculty, students, and administrators to advocate for the UH system in the time of budget crisis. Where people have ideas that they believe to be uh, concrete help about how we can do things better, um, how we can um, save money, how can we can do things that aren't hurting students uh, and faculty, we welcome them. Faculty also questioned how the UH can afford to pay its head football coach $1 million a year. The answer? UH Athletics gets 80% of its funding from ticket and logo wear sales, so only 20% of its budget comes from taxpayers. UH faculty and students plan a teach-in to protest the budget cuts and what they say are leadership failures on October 7th. Kiyoki Kirk, KITV4 Island Television News.